All right, so this is a topic that we have talked a lot about on the show. Mm -hmm. I already see Jeff Schroeder's ears perk it up. Emotional <laughs> support animals flying the friendly skies. Only well-trained service dogs would be allowed to fly under strict new rules proposed by the Department of Transportation. So it's in an effort to stop passengers from falsely claiming their pets are service animals in general. The new rules would mean this miniature horse, Bye-bye. Yep, you wouldn't be able to fly. Same with this emotional support peacock. Yep, that bird once tried to board a plane. We covered that story. And you better leave that service hamster at home. Same goes with this emotional support alligator. So, Jeff, here's your moment. Uh, do any of these emotional support animals besides a dog or even dogs do you feel like should not be boarding planes? Dog, listen, there is a need for an emotional support animal. I don't want to totally throw that out in the garbage, okay? People totally abuse people in this room. I'm not even going to close my eyes. I'm not going to look at anybody. <laughs> people abuse this privilege. They abuse it to the point where farm animals are coming on a plane. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. So now, you know what? Everybody suffers right. because of them. So now if you really need your dog on a plane, it's going to be a lot harder to bring that dog on a plane, and rightfully so, unless you really need the animal. Because let's get this, let's, let's be honest. You don't want to board your dog. You don't want to put it under the plane. It's way easier to take it with you. Right. It has nothing to do with emotional support. And people have use that and now it's time to pay to Piper. Well, we fly with our dog, um, especially if we're going to be gone for a long time and our Spike is not an emotional support um, animal. He is a ticketed passenger and let me tell you, it's interesting to me that you can have hamsters and peacocks and all of these things, but when my dog's medication isn't kicking in exactly at the right time and I need to calm him so that he's not interrupting other passengers, they act like I have broken the law by even removing him for a moment out of his carrier and my dog's about this big. So the idea that you can bring a horse as an emotional support animal, but I can't coddle my dog so I'm not interrupting the rest of the cabin is ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. The rules don't make sense. And it's, she's also buying a ticket too, right. which most people do not do. I'm just surprised that this was able to go on as long as it did. Will we be, because we kind of laughed about this, would people be laughing if like people got a note so they could park in, in the handicap spots at CVS? Like it, this is like, the, I have a friend of mine that's a comic and she has a dog right. that lets people know because she suffers from epileptic seizures, so she, her dog alerts her if she's about to have one. She really needs a dog. So to put her in the same group of people that, that just want to take their dogs, they don't want to pay the 200 bucks to board it that weekend, is a slap in the face to people that have now trained these dogs to, to be life-saving dogs and cats or whatever is a real... Or pigs you know, or horses. Whatever or is a dogs, real thing, right. but like whenever you get your buddy to start writing a letter, it's super disrespectful to people that really need it. All right, chime in, DBL Nation.